Good morning. Welcome to Coffee with the One True King. We're going to get started with prayer and then we will dig into the Word of God and dive into today's lesson. Let us pray. Holy Father, we ask you, Lord, you meet us here. Let your Holy Spirit speak to hearts, Father God. May you uh, come and, and speak to those who are lost, those who are hoarding. May they come to know you in a fresh new way today. In Jesus' name, amen. Jeremiah 29, 12. New NIV version says, Then you will call on me and come to Then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. The title of today's lesson is The Key is Prayer. If you want your life to change, then the key is this start praying. God can open doors that no one else can. He will make a way where there is no way. Anonymous says Life is better with the God in control. The Lord has always been in control, hasn't he? Yes, he is still walking behind the scenes. When you start praying, you will notice how our Heavenly Father is moving through spiritual eyes. An unknown author says, prayer is the key that unlocks our doors. We find the keys to life when we start communicating with our Lord. He gives us hope. God brings our dreams and goals to life. Romans 12, verse 12 says, Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. That was the New and Short National Version. An unknown author says, Prayer, a conversation with God, your Creator. Anna Gordon released a song in 2022 called Take It to Jesus. The chorus says, when your questions don't have answers and you just can't understand it, when your mind just won't stop running and the tears just keep on coming, you don't have to explain it. He heals you before you can speak. Come with me. Let's take it to Jesus. Let's take it to Jesus. Prayer has the power to change us. Christ breaks every stronghold in your Christ breaks every stronghold in your life. Did you start 2023 with prayer? It's not too late to start talking to God. Come before him today. The Lord understands when we don't have the words to say. He is our comforter in the heartache and pain. Anonymous says Prayer changes more than things. It changes you. Even when we don't have all the answers, the Lord stays with us. Followers of Christ find their comfort and peace in Him. Thank you, Jesus, for your loving kindness. James 4 8 says, Come near to God, and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. By serving others, we serve God, is what Anonymous says. I'll read that again. A quote by Anonymous says, By serving others, we serve God. Michael W. Smith released the song in 2001 called draw me close to you verse one says draw me close to you never let me go i lay it all down again to hear you say that i'm your friend you are my desire no one else will do because nothing else can take your place to feel the warmth of your embrace help me find the way bring me back to you the chorus says you're all i want you're all I've ever needed. You're all I want. Help me know you are near. Has your heart been drawn to Christ? You are looking for an area to serve at your church this year in 2023. <coughs> Excuse me. But you don't know where would be a good fit. 
the fourth step would be to pray about it and ask the Lord what he is calling you to serve. He will lead and guide you. Next, speak to your pastor and or one of the deacons. They will help you find an area where you can serve the kingdom of God. Praise the Lord for willing servants to be the hands and feet of Jesus. An unknown author says, make today count for the kingdom. The Lord sends willing vessels around the world to share the gospel. Our hope is built upon the cornerstone. May God's kingdom advance this year in 2023. I hope you are blessed by today's lesson. If there are any prayer requests, you may Post them in the comment section or come to Jesus Heart Intercessor on Facebook and we will gladly pray for you. Again, that's Jesus Heart Intercessor Facebook group. You can post your request there. Um, I'm going to lead you in the prayer of salvation and the reason I do that is if there is one person who out there does not know the Lord, they now have that opportunity to know Jesus. And today, if you make the decision to accept Christ as your personal Savior, please send me a message on Facebook and let me know that you got saved. I'm going to pray for you. Holy Father, I come to you. I ask you, Lord, if there's one person here that is not saved, that you will save their souls. Seek to hearts, Lord Jesus. Let your spirit move in this moment. In Jesus' name, amen. If you would like to be saved, repeat this prayer. Lord, I admit that I'm a sinner and I need a Savior. Please come into my heart. Be the Lord of my life. I love you, Lord, with all my heart, soul, mind, and strength, and with all my might. I repent of my sins. I ask you, Lord Jesus, for you to forgive me. Forgive me, Lord, through your grace and your mercy. Lord, I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that Jesus is Lord. And your word says, if you confess with your mouth and believe with your heart that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. In Jesus' name, amen. Welcome to the family of God. Thank you for joining us. In Jesus' name, amen. See y'all next week.